Hi everybody and welcome back to the Mago channel. Today, uh, chill cook up. I don't have anything specific in mind. I want to start from this sample sent by the goat Toby. I want to abuse this uh, FL Studio function, which you might not know about, which is actually a randomization function. So I'm gonna show you real quick what it is about. Let me just pick one effects. Let's get the delay for instance. So basically what you want to do, you want to go on the top right, where's the presets box, just click on it and you will see a bunch of presets. On the very bottom, you will find this randomized thing. Once you click it, FL Studio is randomizing every parameter of that specific plugin. It doesn't just work on stock plugins, but it also works on third-party plugins. It is a function which doesn't belong to the plugin itself, kind of like an external thing, because many plugins already have a built-in randomizing function, but it's most of the times limited to specific parameters and that can be for many different reasons, of course, but this one is not, which can be both of a good and a bad thing. You can come up with like absolutely nothing. Uh, let's say your action is, is turning off the output volume of that plugin, which is actually something that just happened in this case, or you can come up with something which is unexpected, something you would probably not come up with otherwise. Okay, here is my sample. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to isolate a loop out of it so I can already put it in time with the project. Okay, yeah, we should be around 132 BPM. It's not perfectly in time, but I don't honestly care too much. Okay, I think I'm gonna look for some more, some smaller sections so I can drag them in the playlist and create some variations building on top of the loop that I just uh, extracted. This one is cool. There's also some tonal things going on in the loop, which is super cool. So yeah, this is the loop we got. Okay, so what I want to do now is I want to consolidate it. I want to keep it on my project, but I also want a copy of it, which I want to play with inside the Fruity Granulizer. Yeah, let's start our randomizing journey, our uh, randomization. Yeah, I'm just gonna draw a note here. And I'm gonna hit randomize on the plugin. Let's see what happens. That's kind of cool. It's kind of adding like a, a lower additional groove, which sounds cool in my opinion. Let's route it to another channel and let's open up an RC20. So RC20, like natively, doesn't have a randomization button. So this FL Studio function comes handy when it comes to plugins like this. Nothing crazy, let's do it again. The wobble module is going nuts right now. Kinda cool. Yeah, I think I'm gonna rock with it. I'm going to route this thing to another channel and I'm gonna have a delay on it, which I'm going to randomize as well. I think I just broke it or something. It's doing something. I'm just embracing the unknownness right now. I'm just going with whatever. I don't care too much, honestly. Let's just open up another plugin. Let's go with Mish Bai, whose nature is already kind of like super random, but we're gonna make it even more random because we are crazy. Don't like it. Ah, too much noise. Kind of cool. Oh, I think I like this one better. Okay, I'm not gonna lie to you, it's kind of chaotic. I'm going to mute everything but these two last channels, which are the most chaotic. And I'm going to record them. 
then gonna slice it up with a fruity slicer so I can create something that makes uh, rhythmic sense. Otherwise, it's just like random chaos, which is cool, but you know. I want to only keep the low end of the very initial sound. I like how the how the kick like set the time. I'm tempted to add an off time on the. That's cool, yeah. I'm gonna open up one of those plugins that I've never really used that much. Armless, and I'm gonna hit the randomize button. Yeah, let's say someone just enters your room and you play this crazy atmospheric sound. And then you can pretend you, you spent like 15 days on it because he sees all the knobs and all the routings and kind of looks crazy, but in the reality it's just like one button, you know? So like, I don't know what, what you can do with that, but... I'm gonna try to come up with a melody using the Imagero piano, but I'm gonna open up layer, super cool experimental river from Aberrant DSP, same guys that made sketch cassette, and guess what? I'm going to randomize it. Oh, port! Oh, it's kind of crazy. A little too crazy, maybe. Open a new Fruity Granulizer channel. Now let's randomize it once again. I can also chop the sample inside Granulizer basing on the transient. Now I'm going to randomize once again. Watch. Bit of attack. Yeah, and they're basically just basically sticking to one single chop, which is repeating over and over. I'm gonna create a little side chain channel. Switch to a bell. I've tried this uh, randomization thing on this specific FL plugin, which is called Drum Synth Live. It comes with a bunch of sounds like this. When you hit randomize, it will basically synthesize new percussive elements. So you can tell how crazy it can get. Let, let's add like a, an additional rhythmic layer. The last thing I want to add is a bass. I want to have 
this as like a more of a melodic bass, then I want to have a sub, which is maybe following the kick. Yeah. everybody that's it for today's video this is the final beat uh, as you can see even though it's not like a very experimental beat i still use that more unconventional and experimental technique to to give myself some ideas to start and build something so i encourage everybody to give it a try if you enjoyed the video let us know in the comments you will find all of our links in the description to access our content sounds and more with that said i will see you in the next one